Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? <laughs> We're going to jump right in today. We are going to do one of our wagon add-ons. So this is the wagon that we have on the website, and it comes unassembled, and you have to assemble them. Um, we do have a video on YouTube, I believe. Um, yeah, it is on YouTube. I believe the link is on the website as well, so you can have all the instructions on how to do it. But we're going to work on the spring add-on for it. My little empty wagon needs some dressing up. As you're jumping in, of course, give me the hashtag live if you see that little red button right up there. And a hashtag replay if you uh, if it's not there, then you're on the replay. So we will chit chat. Hi Cheryl. Hi Mavis. And I believe we are backwards. I'm just gonna check this out and see if I need to switch that. Yep, we will. Let's just see if I can reach. We'll go with that, with that, and with that. And there we are. Now everything should be good. <laughs> Is that better? I think that's better. Okay. Oh, now I can't see the comments, so. Hmm. Oh, no, oh, no. Hi, Tina. Hi, Mavis. Hi, Cheryl. If I miss anybody, of course, I do apologize. Just bear with me. I'm not even used to going live this time of the day. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Are we having a great day? How many of you have already purchased the spring add-on? Hi, Wendy. How many of you have purchased the spring add-on for your wagon? That's what we're working on. I'm going to start off with the watering can. I'm going to grab, I'm using the Treasure Gold Silver. It's the silver that so far I like best, guys. It's a nice metallic. It kind of has that real metal look, not like a, just a regular silver. It's just the one I like best so far. They keep, uh, I keep hearing it's going off the market. And I really hope it doesn't because it's, it is an awesome silver. Um, you can pick it up in Michael's, I believe. Um, I know I pick mine up on Amazon because I don't get out of the house much. And all I'm going to do is just give it a quick coat of this beautiful metallic silver. So big news, guys. Brittany has managed to get a day off from her day job. Uh, she works uh, at, uh, I hope she doesn't mind me saying, she works at Swiss Chalet. And uh, she'd much rather be crafting, so we've been trying to get her to come out during the day. And now that she got her license, it's looking good for Friday. So hopefully we can get a live out of her on Friday here. And uh, she can help me get caught up on a few things around the house too. Well, you know, business-wise. I wish I could make her do my housework, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, she'll be here to help me fill orders and um, do inventory on our new paint order that just came in this morning, all that kind of fun stuff. So hopefully things will start moving a little smoother if I can get her in here once or twice a week to help out. And then, of course, on her, you know, lunch breaks at Swiss, she is uh, busy making files and working on new projects for us as well. So she's a busy girl. And I hope she knows I appreciate her. I'm sure she does. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so what's everybody doing today? Are we taking it easy? Are we enjoying the nice weather? Are we just doing housework? Are we at work and playing hooky for a bit while we craft here? What is everyone's plan? So there's my silver. See how it's really like see a brush stroke there. I can't see the brush stroke here, but when I hold it up there, I can see the brush stroke. Isn't that funny? Okay, well, we're going to get rid of that. Let's make sure we don't have brush strokes. Is that better? Yep, that looks better. That's funny how it shows up up there, but not down here. Just back from visiting friends. Now lunch with me. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm also going to do the little blade of my shovel in the same metal. Metallic silver. Are we all getting into that spring decor yet? I actually had out that I was going to do 
the um, this one here. This is what I had set out yesterday for today's live. Was the hot chocolate one. And although I really want to do it, I just needed to get into some bright colors. Hi Izzy! And Jean's here. Hopefully I haven't missed anybody. But yeah, I was going to do that one, which is like, it's pretty. And I'm probably going to do it in like reds and blues and, you know, winter colors. But I was looking outside and kind of watching the birds at the bird feeder today. And I was like, no, no. I need some serious spring colors going on today. In my breezeway, um, it's, it's a bright yellow room because it's got like a full wall of windows, basically the big patio door and two good sized windows. Um, and I wanted that to be the brightest, the most cheerful room in the house kind of thing. So it's painted in a bright yellow, but I don't really have any artwork up there. Hi Emma. Welcome. Um, I don't have any artwork or anything hanging in there. So I was sitting there thinking, Ooh, I've got a big, huge blank wall that needs shelves and stuff just to have like my artwork because <laughs> I'm running out of space other everywhere else. So I think that's my plan for maybe later this afternoon when the hubby gets home is to start making a plan of all the shelves that need to go up there and, and kind of figure that out. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to take the frame and I'm going to take my slate gray, which is now my favorite gray guys. I didn't even realize I had it till the other day. Um, I did another project with you guys and I did the bird and I needed the shadowing underneath and I used slate. Love it. Um, so actually I went on Amazon and went some shopping this morning too, and I found it in a larger tip. I don't know what set this came with that it was why I got it because I don't have it in the larger colors. Um, but I found it in the larger colors. If you're looking for it, the set is called ocean colors and that's where you'll find the slate gray. It's a big difference from the regular gray. So it'll be nice to have it in a thicker tip because this is great for doing shadow lines and stuff. But um, on a project like this, I would have preferred the bigger, the bullet tip. So I think I went with a, um, a three millimeter is the one that I ordered for my next set. I know my large ones here, um, like the ones that I use most, they say they're a 2.5, but this one said a three. So I don't know how many sizes they have. Hopefully not too many because it'd be nice if I just kept with my three regular sizes. But we'll see when it gets here. Hi Gail. Hi Daphne. Hi Deborah. Welcome everybody. I don't know if I introduced myself. I am the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick. Uh, my name is Angie and I'm in the Rideau Lakes, Ontario. So that is like halfway between Ottawa and Kingston, maybe, um, Smith Falls, Kingston. I guess we're about an hour and 15 minutes from Ottawa and 45 minutes from Kingston. So we're kind of in that area, um, close to the Leeds and Thousand, um, no, sorry. What's it called? Thousand Islands. I think it's called Leeds and Thousand Islands. Anyways, um, we're kind of down in that area, Eastern Ontario. Gorgeous day here. And my business is making wood cutouts and hopefully inspiring creativity in people. So we sell all these wood cutouts on our website and a few other craft supplies. Um, and then I love to see when you guys send me in pictures of what you guys have done. So like I try and do as many as I can live or I get my daughter to help me. And then I hope that as you guys do them that you send me your pics so we can just see how it looks in different colors and you know, everybody has their own style. Tina that's following right now, shout out to Tina. Woo! Um, she's very into primitive and um, more natural and organics and stuff like that, I find. So when I see, you know, I do something in vibrant colors and then she does it in her rustic, I love doing the comparison. Um, we have some viewers that like to do a little more whimsical um, I just love seeing all the variations because it really does take on a total different personality kind of your piece by the way you finish it. Now, I, we do have some viewers that seem to match up with me and like to do the same colors, and I love that too. 
but uh, it's always interesting to see different people's takes and you know how everybody has their own ideas of what it could be or different ways to finish it. So I'm just taking my second layer and I'm using my stick fast glue and I'm just gonna glue that right on there. Isn't it cute? It looks really blue to you guys when I'm looking at it. Does it look blue? It's actually a slate gray, but when I'm looking at it in the camera with this lighting, it's looking very blue, but it's still, it's still very pretty. But it's definitely a darker, a darker gray than what it's looking like up there. Okay, then I'm going to take my shovel. Now the back part of my shovel, here's the thing with the shovel. You could just glue the handle on. Can you see that? And then your shovel part would be the in behind. Or you could leave out that extra handle and you could do it this way so that it gives you dimension that way. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use both pieces. So that's why it's cut like that. It's just to give you a little versatility. Brittany's watching. Ooh, she's supposed to be working hard. She's playing hooky. She must be on a lunch break. Hello, hello. For those of you that don't know, Brittany is my daughter. She is my crafty daughter that helps me out so much. And she's at her day job right now, so I'm surprised that she's on. If you're still there, Britt, though, you could do me a favor and just drop the link to our website. Option two looks more realistic to you. Alrighty. Quick coffee break. Ah. Do you have the link that you could drop quickly? That would be a huge help, hon. I'm going with option number three. That's the other thing is even Brittany, um, she has a total different take on things than me. She's more whimsical than I am. I'm kind of the shabby chic. I like a little bling. I like a little color, but I still kind of like the primitive. I'm like, I'm like sort of tossed in between. More eclectic maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Where she's all the bright and vibrance and awesome. Thank you very much. So that's my shovel. I think these are so cute. So, so cute. I'm going to let that dry. Whoops. See that? It fell apart on me. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do a little detail work to it after. You like a lot of bling. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. That's true. Okay. These next ones, I've got some different ideas. Um, first of all, I want my outside frame to be in a white. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome, welcome. And Mavis says you and I are the same. I think she's talking to me and not Brittany. <laughs> And welcome, Cindy. Um, I want my white to be very vibrant. So if you can see here, it's kind of got this yellowy tinge. That's because these are all laser cut and it kind of gets a smoky residue on it. So if you want your white to be a vibrant white, you're going to take your sanding block and just give it a light sanding. Hopefully I don't shake the table too much doing this. And you're just going to sand off some of that smoky residue. The other option is to put a primer on. Um, you can put gesso or you can put just a regular paint primer, but typically when I'm priming, I go outside and just spray paint it with primer because um, I'm lazy and I like, you know, instant gratification. <laughs> and uh, so it's not the time of the year for that. So I'm going to sand mine back. I did use gesso on something the other day and it worked pretty good. We have clear gesso, I think, on the website. But it needs to be done, they say 24 hours ahead of time to actually um, cure before you paint. So I don't know about you, but I don't plan that far ahead. I'm just, I could be doing this a lot faster, but <laughs> I don't want to shake the table too much for you. I don't want to cause an earthquake. Okay, so that just takes off some of that yellow residue. I'm going to slide this aside. I don't need those pieces anyways. So those pieces I'm going to toss. And this piece here, I'm going to grab my Country Chic paint, which is a chalk mineral paint. Am I missing anybody? Tracy's in the house. Welcome, Tracy. And I'm going to be using yellow wellies. So it's not our brightest yellow, 
Um, we have Lumerous is our brightest yellow. And then there's Bee's Knees that's kind of more on a creamy shade. And then there's Fresh Mustard, which is, I think, you know, Dijon Mustard, kind of the bright orange. Um, yellow Wellies is my cheerful yellow, I would say. So I'm going to take Yellow Wellies. And I'm going to grab another brush here. It's kind of a beautiful, bright, creamy yellow. And I'm just going to paint this whole area in yellow. Got a little much on my brush there. I might have to clean up my edges after. So who's loving the wagon add-ons? Should we keep going with the wagon add-ons or have you had enough of them? We started them in the fall, so we're kind of getting close. Like we're in the spring, we've got summer still to do and I have a few ideas for it. Um, there's still like, we haven't done the Mother's Day, Father's Days, kind of those kind of things, but we've, we've been concentrating mainly on the seasons. So we had pumpkins in the fall, um, Christmas trees in the winter. Uh, we've got Easter eggs for spring or for East. I messed that up, didn't I? Pumpkins for the fall, trees for Christmas, Easter eggs for Easter. We had hearts for Valentine's Day. We had shamrocks for St. Patty's Day. Now we're kind of going in with flowers for spring. Um, I think the summer one might be either camping themed or um, it might be like lake life for cottage. Mavis is like definitely keep going. She loves her wagon. Okay. There's so many options that like we could keep going for sure. But if you're if you're at the point that you've got enough, let me know. <laughs> you don't remember the pumpkins. Okay. Well, they'll be back again this fall. Um, and then we'll probably add a new fall one too. But we had the pumpkins were the same idea as the Valentine hearts or um, what else did we do that was that kind of style? Um, you know our Easter egg banner where it's got the overlay? Kind of like this, I guess. But it was all the different designs to it. So that's my yellow flower. I guess we get better lighting that way. And then this part's going to be done in white. And then the, these parts I don't need. Now, if you're into a lot of crafting, you might want to throw those into a baggie. And you could turn that into a flower on something else. I don't know. Just a thought. Oh, you were going to go live, but you decided to come see me instead. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm also going to paint this in yellow. But this one here, I want to be a little more vibrant. So, here's the thing about making things more vibrant. If you put a white underneath, it's going to really help it pop. Karen is watching while you're in line at the grocery store. Oh my goodness. That's the first I've heard of that. Oh my goodness. If you want your colors really to pop, yeah, if you put a white underneath, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm in shock that you're doing that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, you put a white in behind and it's going to make your colors pop even more. So I don't do that often, but there is just some cases that I'm like, no, I really want to kick that up an extra notch without adding like a different shade of yellow, right? It's gonna be the same yellow wellies, but it's gonna have a just a more vibrant tone to it because of the white underneath. Kind of like when we're decoupaging. If you do white underneath, it's a little brighter. Ooh, Canada add-on, yes. Um, and 4th of July, guys. I am actually pretty excited about 4th of July stuff this year. I love my country, don't get me wrong. I love Canada. But you gotta admit, when it comes to decorating for that holiday, 4th of July totally kicks our butt. There's just something about the stars and stripes that I see all the crafters going and I'm like, oh, they have such cool stuff. So I've actually been browsing around for ideas <laughs> for 4th of July too. And I'm close to the border, so why not, right? There's a few years that we've gone down to my hubby's work um, on the St. Lawrence. And so, like, Canada Day, we'll watch.
We're gonna do it in a white. So let's see if I can grab a sponge here. I'm gonna grab one of my makeup sponges. I just use dollar store makeup sponges. And I'm gonna take a, a wand of white. States. We actually do ship into the States. I have a lot of customers in the States. Well, thanks for watching. So, Tracy, are you Canada or U.S.? I got to say, Tracy, first time watching and you're joining in in the conversation. Can everybody congratulate her on that? Because I tell you, a lot of people come in and they sit silent for so long and never let us know that they're here. And then they're like, oh, I've been watching you for months. And I'm like, really? Why didn't you talk to us? <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you're U.S. Okay. Whereabouts in the U.S.? Yeah, so many people... Um, yeah, they just come in and it's like they don't really feel like they can, oh, I stuck the white on the yellow. They feel like they don't, they can't enter in or something. I don't know. And we love it when you join in on the chit chat. We have a great bunch of ladies here that are, I'm sure we're welcoming you here. Okay. Let's see. What's next? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to take my Now, these guys are fragile, so, like, you have to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to have to glue them back together, which we're going to do. But they are small print, and a little fragile. When you get them to you, they are taped down to the, the backer board, so onto this. Um, so just be careful when you're pulling up the painter's tape that you don't break them. But I'm sure you've seen many times we've had to, we've had to do little corrections because we get excited and we rip them off, too. Tina, you've never been to the States. Oh my gosh, girl. Oh my gosh. I am like anxiously awaiting. I know we can technically go across the border and there's no issues, but I want things to calm down a little more because things change constantly so fast <laughs> that I don't want to be shopping in Hobby Lobby over there and then find out I need a COVID test to come back or something. So I'll be happy when things calm down a notch <laughs> because... Although I've been to the States several times, um, we used to shop in over there. Not sure why. And then the past few years, I've been able to take a couple trips. So I've been in South Carolina. Carolina and Virginia um, for crafting trips, which was lots of fun. It was like ladies, rent. It was like I think it was thirty of us at one point that rented a beach house, and uh, we all stayed right on the beach and did crafting classes and stuff like that. It was so much fun, and there's just nothing like waking up on the beach, right? Um, but other than that, I, you know, with COVID. I have 
not gone into a Hobby Lobby. I don't know why, but that is my goal. As soon as things calm down, I am... You've never been to Canada, but it's on your bucket list. Awesome. Let us know when you come. <laughs> um, you don't want to come in the summer unless you like snow. <laughs> I don't recommend the snow. I'm not a big uh, snow person. Um, yeah, that is my goal. I want to get to a Hobby Lobby so badly. I watch the videos of people going in there and it just, like, it kills me. I want to be there so bad. That's probably one of my big bucket list things. I want to go to Cuba. I would love to go to like Ireland or something like that. And I got to go to a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Tracy loves the snow. Oh, well then girl, you'll like it up here. Oh my gosh, yes, I've got to get there. Uh, uh, snow is nice to look at, not to be at exactly. <laughs> we got a lot of it here in Canada, you're right, Trace, um, Tina. Yes, and Cheryl is out west. Now, if you want snow, Cheryl really got She got hit with it pretty good, I guess. They've been snow covered and ice packed for days. Yeah, no thanks. Keep it out there. Apparently, it's heading this way. Snow on Saturday, Sunday, I think they're saying. Not happy about it. Okay, so now that my white's dry, I'm going to go in with my blue. I don't think this one, yeah, it's in, you know, I don't know. And we'll show you the difference between being on white and being on just the wood. So there it is there. Don't let that dry. Yep, that's my bucket list. How sad is that when it, my bucket list is a Hobby Lobby? <laughs> now, as for Canada, I've been to um, Newfoundland. I went to St. John's for a wedding. Um, but when we got there, the wedding was not really planned. Um, we did stop for directions one time, which was hilarious because we stopped for directions um, out in no man's land. It was a long laneway. We parked at the end of the laneway for some reason. Um, and we walked up to the house and the guy came out and he was like, oh, how can I help you kind of thing. Um, I'm not even going to take out the new accent. But um, we told him, you know, we're looking for directions or whatever. And one of our first phone, I guess it was, back before we had cell phones. And uh, he invited us in and his wife was like, trying to feed us, you know, Newfie food. And we're like, you're feeding us and we're strangers off the street. It was, it's amazing. Apparently they're all like that. Um, my first husband was actually a Newfie and his family is definitely like that. Love them to pieces. Um, yeah, so been to Newfoundland. Um, first I've been to Quebec several times. Um, been to, I don't really remember when I was little, but I've been to Winnipeg. I think that's what I did in Canada. I haven't been on the West Coast at all. I'd like to get out there and see our West Coast. And I'm really hoping either this summer or next summer to head to the East Coast again and do um, Nova Scotia or New Brunswick or something like that. I want to do a road trip. Travel 
time. Yeah, between the white base and no base is a big difference, I find. So there we go. So this one, if you like the rustic color, um, more like a col um, colonial blue, just on the wood, it kind of darkens it up. If you put the white under it, it kind of makes it pop more, which I think is very spring color, right? They're having trouble too. Uh-oh. No sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Should I pop off and come back? Newfoundlanders are the best people been there when to St. John's. I haven't been there. Didn't go to the park. Tell me that. Comes and goes. Should I jump off and come back? It looks like I'm freezing. You can hear me fine. It's not choppy at all, Izzy. No, we're good. You're fine. Alrighty. Okay. We'll keep going then. So anyways, this flower is pretty much done. Might go in and add some details. These guys here, I'm going to paint this yellow now. Where's my yellow wellies? I'm going to grab my yellow wellies. You could just leave it white and have the blue on top, which is really pretty, but I kind of wanted to tie in some more of that yellow. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, it's going into my yellow room, so. Everybody's good? Okay. Sorry about that. That's the problem of living in the country. My paintbrush is stiffening up. The paint is drying on. Oh, there we go. I was like, whew, that's a, a stiff bristle, man. Now I am going to probably, I am going to probably, totally contradicting myself when I talk. <laughs> um, I'm going to take and knock this down if I remember. The plan is to sand it down before I move on those pieces. So that also some of that white tone pops through and gets a little more rusty. Oh, that's the plan, but. My memory is short. So either way, it'll look fine, but that's the plan. Tina, what time did you get home after you came here? She was out to pick up an order the other day, and I guess the weather was getting bad, and we were kind of wondering... How long it's going to take her to get home. So there we are. And you can see again with the white in behind. Can you see that okay? With the white in behind, it's just a little more vibrant of a yellow. So it kind of gives you the same um, color tone, but, you know, a little more brightness to it. I'm going to stick that yellow back there because I think I'm done with it. And guys, did you see what I did? I stuck it in the water. First of all, that's amazing that I remembered to have water. 7.30, wow. Um, but typically, I have chip clips, which I don't seem to have any around. They're probably all in the other room. But normally, when I stick my brushes in water, I stick a chip clip on it. How many of you do that? And it's so your brushes don't kind of smuck at the bottom. Because I like to get that 
stiff bristle. Um, but I don't seem to have any chip clips handy. I'm going to have to get more of those, I guess. I keep losing them. You wonder why. Like, I've got the sink here and everything, and yet I still lose things. <laughs> Hot Mess Express. Okay. This guy here, we're going to do a little differently. This guy here, I'm going to paint him in pink. I'm going to go with that bright coral pink again, which is called Cherry Blossom. I should take that white one, right? Am I doing anything else? In oh, I might play around with the white still. We'll leave the white. I'm going to take my Cherry Blossom. I'm going to grab another brush. And I'm going to paint the whole background in Cherry Blossom. somebody out front. It sounds like a delivery. It's definitely a delivery. Or it's my daughter getting off the bus. Nope. my doorbell just give me one second the only reason I'm running guys normally I would say just leave it there and we're good but I'm waiting for a glow forge to show up so just give me one second not a glow for it. Sadly, sadly, it's still not my glow forge. But instead, um, I ordered my cleaners <laughs> off of Amazon and uh, the box came and the guy's like, oh, I was hoping you were here because the box is in perfect condition, but the inside contents have busted open. And so um, it's resolve. I like the oxy resolve to get the paint out of my clothes. <laughs> and it's busted open in the box. So now I'm going to have to get hold of Amazon. Bummer. Hopefully there's enough to salvage to do, you know, a little bit of a load because I got paint on me earlier today. <laughs> and I was hoping it would show up. Not the Glowforge. The Glowforge, okay guys. The Glowforge, you know, George is not feeling well. He's seriously under the weather. He's given me lots of issues. Um, so, February, um, the, it had reached the border of Canada and U.S. at Mississauga. It went into customs, and that was on February 2nd. We had a delivery notice saying it was coming. It was supposed to be here February 4th. Um, didn't show up. The uh, fifth, I had a doctor's appointment, which I canceled because I was like, it might be just running late. And I called FedEx. Well, now we are at, what are we at? March 6th. And it's still not here. Apparently, it's still stuck at customs. So I have been working with a George, a Glowforge machine, that is not, not doing well at all. He is just not doing well. It takes me so long to get projects done, it's unbelievable. Okay, so now I want to try something a little different. I'm going to take a little of this pink. My white, unfortunately, dried up, didn't it? Oh no, it's still... I still got a little life there. I need a little more white. We're going to play around with color again. 
I'm just gonna grab an old rickety brush. February 9th. Yeah, isn't that unbelievable? It's been stuck at the border for that long. I've contacted Glowforge about it. They say they've cleared it, yada, yada, yada. I've contacted, um, of course, you know, FedEx, the delivery company. They are saying everything is fine. It should be there any time. But, you know, here I sit with it not here. I want to have different shades of pink. So what I've got right now, I've got pink on the brush, which is almost white, and I've got dark pink on the edge. And I'm just going to figure out. I'm not a marker, so I need these guys, so just bear with me on this. I want dark edges, but I want it lighter in the center. And let's see if it works. Without looking too streaky, right? I don't know. I might be too streaky. Maybe more dark up at the top. No, dark in this. Let's go darker down at the bottom. Basically, I'm just playing around. I want it to have different tones of pink on the petals. Can you guys see that? So it's kind of like whites and pinks all swirled together. So yeah, I'm not having the best of luck with having my Glowforge working. But we're getting the job done. We are making do. We are pushing through. I'm starting to think that my thunder laser, which shows up, um, does it show up? I brushed it again. I went too quick. It was like perfect. It had a nice white splatter in there that I loved. Um, the Thunder Laser might show up before my Glowforge replacement one does. How sad is that? Maybe my brush is too big. That might be a problem. Let's try and go in with a smaller one in the center here. That might be the problem. So I'm taking darker from the bottom after I've swirled it. Just playing around colors. Each petal will be slightly different, you know, like they are in real life. Let's try it this way. I do all my edges in the dark first and then go in with the lighter because I'm not so good at the, you know, two on one brush. So I need to practice that more. How many of you did toll painting back in the day? I was too little. When toll painting was a big thing, I was little um, or uninterested maybe. Um, I'll say too little because that makes me sound, you know, young and vibrant. <laughs> Petals are almost heart shaped, but not quite. You weren't into the toll painting? I didn't really, like, I didn't like it. I didn't like the look of it. I didn't understand why my mom did. But now that I'm into painting all the time, I'm like, ooh, I could see how the different brush strokes would have made, you know, a lot of sense and would have been very beneficial at this stage. How about those vines? How many of you were into all that vine stuff? When was that? In like 90s maybe? That everybody was taking the grape vines and making like... Vines. 
often. She liked doing that stuff. Just thinking of past artworks that were a big thing. got some wood coming through. Definitely don't want the wood tone showing through. Okay, there we go. And then my center, I guess, should be yellow or black. I think I'm going to go black. That's why my black Posca. Didn't do the grapevines either, but they were like a huge thing. Everybody was doing those for a while. Well, everybody but me and Mavis. <laughs> so what part of the class were you guys into then? Or is this something new? Is this something How many of you have tried this? How many of you have bought into the arts and crafting since COVID? Has COVID inspired you? Black was your choice. Oh, good, good. Was, did COVID kind of get you more into crafting? Or were you just, it seems to be that stage of your life that you, you were looking for something to do? Or what brought you back to crafting? Or what brought you into it in the first place, maybe? All right. Okay, you had a baby and you were traveling so much with work. Yeah, that would that would keep you from crafting. I'm going to put stick fast in these holes. Okay? And then I'm going to find my piece that fits in there and I'm going to set it in there. And I'm going to move on to the next one. That one does not fit in there. I should have kept them in order. And that one doesn't fit in there. That one fits. This one here is the Must go over here. Yep. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you're keeping your stick fast glue though away from the edge piece because you don't want to glue it. Go. And a 
little dollop in the middle. And drop him in there. And then I'm going to hopefully, there, pull that away. And then you can save this for something else if you want. It'd really look really cute on one of those wood rounds or something like that. But I don't need it for this project. So there's my flower for this one. Isn't that pretty? So now even though those petals didn't look like much at first. Why did I paint the base if I'm covering up? That's why. Um, because I was popping it away. I was just using it as a mold more than anything. You probably got that by the time. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. Um, I just thought it would be pretty. And now my petals, even though they didn't look like much, they just kind of looked a mess. They really seem to pop now. I think it's cute. Just a different way of doing it. Okay. I'm just knocking down any high spots. But I'm also doing a just little so that white kind of piece through. And I might do a little more just using the tip of my sandpaper, just scuffing up some spots. If you take a baby wipe, you can lightly scuff it up some more. It's like a wet sanding method. I don't know if you guys can see that okay, but I just kind of have some white scuff marks in there. Once it's all dry, I'll take some better pictures and you'll see what I'm getting at. But. That's the wet sanding technique. It's just using a baby wipe and kind of scuffing it up. I just want to get the stick fast spots off of here first. The glue I can deal with. The stick fast on the mats doesn't always come off good if you if you don't get it right away. <laughs> Oh, you got one of these sanders? You got it at uh, Home Depot, right? I think you said before. I do. I love it. My hands don't seem to grip the great big square ones very well. I'm having problems with my knuckles and stuff like that. And this time, I just need to use the perfect texture of the bone. And I love that with the finger rest so that you can cut it on my ankles more. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to touch that. Somebody said that there were dollar stores. Um, I haven't been able to find one in a dollar store. I think I paid for a peanut sport. Oh, 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 Look how that blue just pops on that yellow. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those colors together. So pretty.
simpler of it better. Okay? So we've got the sign and we've got the flower. Now, if you notice on your flowers, sometimes the you can kind of see different layers. So I like to go in there with a brown Posca after. Probably have to grab a thinner one, but I don't see my brown one. My probably has to That sounds like Maya's bus. She will come in running with the map. I apologize in advance. I'm literally right beside the front door, so. I'm live. Yeah, just leave that one out there. It's leaking bad. And leave the wet side up, please. But uh, thank you for bringing in the parcel. Yeah, that's my new uh, Resolve laundry stuff. So if it spills on you, it's not that bad. It's just going to make you super clean. Um, but it didn't survive the, the travel. Yeah. I'm live, by the way. I, I heard. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are pretty much assembled. Now I'm just going to go back and I'm going to draw some little details on things. Deborah's in the house. So I'm just going to do a swoop. Little details like that. Nothing too fancy. Just a little something, something. I'm wondering if I've got a black handy that I could go in there, maybe with a little bit thicker. Uh, let's try this one. I don't know if I like that actually. I think I liked it better before. Sometimes I just don't like my doodles, and that's okay, because then we just paint over it. It's a little too cartoony for me. Hi, Mandy. You're here for the bloopers now. We're going to change the mind. No, I don't like that. <laughs> but I think that's human nature. I think we all do that. Let's take a paintbrush. Another brush. And we're just going to paint right over that because I'm not fussy on it. I'll think of something else. I will think of something else. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Okay, my Posca wasn't totally dry. And now I'm getting this dark tone that's coming through. And I'm loving it. As long as I can activate it all at the same time. Huh. Oh, that one might have been too dry. Can't bring it up. It just kind of made it look tarnished. It was pretty awesome. It's one of those happy accidents. Some on my trim, Hot Mess Express. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's good. Let's see. 
Okay, so now can you see, can you see the dinginess that showed up? I think when it dries, you can see I spotted up with this pot too. But once it dries, I think it's going to be all fine. But I love that dinginess that happened up there. I wish I could bring that right through. But I'd have to scribble with Posca and play with it and hope that it works. And, well, that sounds, you know, chancy. Clean up my trim that I got silver on now. But I do love that dingy spot at the top. I just don't know how to make that happen purposely. I'll figure that out another time. Okay. Um, my flower could use some doodles inside. I think we're going to go polka dots in here. Do, 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 do. Just a whole bunch of polka dots. Can you see that? Can you see my polka dots? Are they showing up at all? Kind of, sort of. Get the lighting just right, maybe? Nope. Okay, well, there's polka dots in there, and it looks so cute. And I think I want to take a different yellow. And just kind of hit some of these tips, maybe. Might have gone a little far on that one, but I can touch it up with white. Just a touch of yellow on there. That's really pretty. Okay. Then we'll go in with this guy here, and I think I'm going to do white. I was going to do black, but I think I'm going to do white. So I just want to draw some How many of you have been playing around with doing details on things? Sorry, I'm just concentrating as I do this. It's like I can't talk and uh, paint at the same time. Mm. I can walk and chew gum, but I can't talk and paint at the same time. contrast to it. What do you guys think? And then the black, I don't know if I could do anything to the black. Do I have a metallic black? I think that's just a regular black. I don't think there's a metallic black. So I think we'll just leave the center with the, the matte black. I am going to touch up that white though. White Posca, just had it. A little too much yellow right in there. Can bring that back a bit. There we go. So 
just like so. I'm going to grab our wagon. So we've got our pretty pink flower and our pretty white flower. I'm still thinking he needs something done to him. Oh, sorry, just one second here. I feel like he needs something. Let me see. I'm going to try something else. He just looks a little too bland for me. I wonder if this... I just feel like he needs something, but I'm not, but when I do it, then I look at it and go, no, that's not what I'm thinking. What would you do to him? I'd like him to look more old and aged. I'm having a hard time to choose, folks. Um, I might have to just leave him like that. But I feel like he needs something. Ooh, I know. Wait a second. I got this baggie of flowers. I'm going to add flowers to him. Just because he looks plain to me. He's driving me nuts. I can't figure it out. So maybe if I did something like this. What do you think? Add flowers to him? I don't know. And then this is probably really bad, but I'm going to break two of my petals off. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking yes. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with. Metallic blue flowers on it, maybe? Maybe, maybe. I think so. Love it when a plan comes together because I was really struggling there. You could probably see the hamster running on the wheel. On my head. Now that I've gone silver and metallic, it just needed something. And that's why I like our little grab bags. I'm not trying to sell you on little grab bags, but they are handy. Sometimes it's just like you need a little something, something there. So that's why I, I make the grab bags and I hope they come in handy for you. And apparently they really came in handy for me. So, okay. just a little too plain for me. Might need one more down in this corner. Let's see. If I... I think this one. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to take even an accidental plant. Yeah, I, I'm bad for that. I'm going to pop off little petals here now. And I should paint them first. But I think I want three petals and I'm going to pop them down in the corner. But I can't have them stuck together like that. Just a second. Sam. There we go. We'll paint them first. Where did the metallic glue go?
Stay still. I suppose I could have freehand drew these on here, but they would never have turned out as nice. So now I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to put a little stick fast there on the corner. Get it in there. Get it. Snap it in there. Oops. Might be a little big. Might be a little big. Not bad. It's kind of cute. I think it's cute. So there we go. Now we've got some blue flowers on there. Wow, that's some metallic-y. <laughs> I think that's the thing. It was, it was too metallic-y and it looked too... I don't know, too modern with the with the rustic edging. I just, I needed something else to it. So we smashed up some flowers and I think it looks cute. What do you think? Is that better? What do you think? Okay. Um, my wagon. So we've got the big pink flower, the yellow flower, the watering can. Oops, and apparently I didn't glue on that flower. Nope, I did not. There we go. And that's that. What do you think? Is that pretty? Can you see it okay? Oh, there. That's perfect lighting right, right there. It's pretty. Now, the other thing you can do with these is... Get our little Nomi and our stick fast out of the way. Is this is the shelf that Brittany made, and this little sign also fits up on here. Oh, it's got to go the other way, I guess. Just a sec. So that could hang on there. I'm trying to do this from in behind, so. Put flowers in there. Have a little watering can sitting up here. Have another little flower there. And you could kind of add, you know, what else could we add? You could add, I don't know what else. Do I have any other spring decor to stick in there? Well, something else spring in there your ray den mug or i don't know whatever but see it, it looks really cute with that too until you move it so that's our project for today do we guys love it hope you enjoyed it next we'll have to do that hot cocoa one but i also want to work on um that the round that says then sings our so then sings my soul. I really want to get that one done too. So that's my project for today, guys. I might even leave it like that. So cute. So so cute. Alright, guys. Newbie or now a follower, thank you for joining us, Thelma. And thank you for saying you're here. I was just saying that earlier. So many people decide to, you know, come and watch us, but they never say hi. And we love it when you, uh, when you jump in and have the conversation with us. We love to know that you're there. So thank you so much for that. And we all welcome you. Hope you stick around. Um, for anyone that's wanting notifications, there is a notification list. You can um, text your number two. Let's see if I can type one here. Let's see if it'll let me type. Nope. 
nope, it's not gonna let me, it's not gonna let me type. That's disappointing. Um, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, maybe this button right here. Ooh, there we go. Whoops, and then it disappeared. Sorry. Come on. Maybe I'm just not patient enough. Maybe I'm double tapping. There we go. So if you want your notifications, you can join our little um, text group and we just let you know ahead of time when we're going live. It's kind of handy. Facebook doesn't always let you know right away. Um, so we're trying to have, you know, an extra little backup plan. We don't pile you then we will definitely see you, you know, before the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this. Love you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're doing any of our projects, make sure you send us pics. We love to share them on the page or on the website. Um, we can't share every single one, of course. But, uh, we share a lot of them. All right. Bye-bye, guys.